Welcome back everyone to episode 8 of Let's Play Atlantic Fleet as the Germans in the Battle of the Atlantic Campaign. Um, I'm a little bit... I'm recording these things a little bit in advance, so if there's comments even a few episodes back, I still haven't read them yet. One thing, for example, I've discovered since my previous videos um, is that it's probably a good way to deal with submarines by actually launching torpedoes at them, which is not how you would normally deal with submarines, but that seems to be an effective way of dealing with enemy submarines. The AI is not too smart. They don't seem to avoid them or, I don't know. Um, so instead of just trying to run at them and get depth charges, even light cruisers, heavy cruisers, heck, even battleships can launch torpedoes at these guys to try to ward them off or, you know, seek them out, right? So let's continue our campaign. We're doing well. We, you know, it's only been three months into the war or so, and we're already at, I think this is, I wonder how many notches this is. I haven't even bothered counting. Let's see, five, one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like it's 20. So we're 10% the way there. Oh dear. Okay, so this is actually pretty interesting. We left our submarines in the English Channel, which I didn't mean to do, and which means that they're gonna be getting the crap bombed out of them by air power. But we probably have an opportunity to disengage if we want, or heck, if we have an opportunity to sink both the Courageous and the Valentine, we won't be on the receiving end of any kind of bombardment, which is, I mean, hey, if we can steal one a great kill and get out of here, that would be well worth it. So, from the perspective of my U-64, they are moving left to right. So they are moving that direction, obviously. This is perfect. What we're going to do is have the U-64 continue in the exact direction she's going, line up, a on, line up a shot on the Courageous, and have our front runner, the U-65, at the same time take out the Valentine. Unfortunately, we have no idea which direction these guys are going to turn, so it's going to be a little difficult to figure out, especially what the U-65 can do. Obviously, if they turn left, if they turn west, we're just screwed. We can't possibly kill both. But if they stay on their present course or if they turn east, those are both situations where our plan can still be effective. So let's get that underway. Flank speed, I think... I think we'll go five degrees more um, and move like this. So we're pointing in this direction and let's start lining up a shot on the Courageous. Obviously it would be a wonderful success story if we could pull off sinking the, the aircraft carrier. Even if it was at the cost of two of our submarines, that's a, a huge renowned win for us. But I'd prefer not to lose our submarines, honestly. So, uh, do not do any kind of weaponish stuff for the first turn. And you can see this guy's in a bit of a fix, right? I actually want him to keep going this direction because I want to take him out of the path. In fact, I'll even move 10 degrees more in the wrong direction just to kind of take him out of the path of that destroyer. And again, we don't need any kind of weaponish stuff done. And this is the important thing. Okay, they are turning the worst direction for me. We are just gonna have to hope that they're zigzagging. If they aren't, we're in trouble. Probably we can't succeed in destroying both the ships at the same time anyway. And I forgot to target the destroyer with my other ship, but that's fine. So we probably just keep moving in the same direction we're going. And that's that. Uh, this guy probably begins... I mean, what's the question? Do we loop all the way around? No, that's too much time. So probably we... Uh, I don't know. I think we actually still pull away. <laughs> And we'll start turning hard after this. So let's start lining up a shot on the Valentine. Start getting targeting information. And done. So oh, they're still turning. That's not good. Hopefully they don't continue that path forever. They're only going 9 knots, which means that submerged at 7 knots, if they zigzag, we'll be able to catch up. But I, I fear that that won't be the case. Let's actually start to hedge our bets a little bit, just in case they do continue to go left, west. Let's get the 64... Ah. Eh. Actually, her angle's pretty good. According to the... Looking on this map, it doesn't look like her angle's good, but according to the strategic map, well, the zoomed-out map, or top-down map, our angle looks pretty decent. 
So let's keep going just in the same direction we're moving. Alright, so this ship, probably we get her to do her 30 degree turn now. Good, done. Yeah, they keep pulling away. I wonder if they had... So it doesn't even give us an option to disengage, which leads me to believe maybe they have a sonar contact that they're responding to. Which is interesting. So let's start moving over there a little bit. Moving. Okay, well, that's a pretty good shot we've lined up, but we'll wait one more turn. I think we probably have to fire torpedoes. We're just so close. Maybe. It's kind of crazy, but maybe we'll fire torpedoes from this far away? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't like that. If they curve back, we're in really good shape. So let's just hope that that happens. Similarly, let's just go two-thirds here. Slow down a bit. We don't want to run into them. And see what happens. Because if they turn back, we're going to have to launch... Oh, they turn back. Okay, we're in real trouble with our front sub. But this is good news for um, the U-64. It means that she is playing the game correctly. Move. Done. Now what do we do with this guy? They're going to move back, so I think we just go... Let's go back, even. We want him to stay. And this will be the first time I test out. Does moving to starboard with your engines, like, do your engines influence? I think for submarines, it was just a rudder so that their engines didn't affect the turning. And I'm thinking probably only of, like, speedboats, like tiny speedboats, where if you angle... I think if you're... All these big ships are probably rudder-driven, so what am I thinking? This should work fine. Okay, we'll just keep staying like that. Okay. Um, 345, that's still pretty far. The good news is you can hit them, you can hit the aircraft carrier with so much stuff without, so let's go like 15. Yeah, maybe even 20. Nope, not 25. Let's go 20. You can hit the aircraft carrier with quite a lot because it's so long. <laughs> if you fire torpedoes, you're likely to hit. And let's just do stop us and back. That didn't help too much. We probably should have done 30 after all. And which way the direction? Oh, gosh. Okay, so we just have to fire torpedoes at this point. This guy's still going flank. He's doing his darndest to catch up, but um, <laughs> because the distance is so small here, just gonna have to admit, we're gonna have to do something all right and yet I'm going to hold off they're only moving nine knots so that does give us a little more time I'll stop and go 30 that was good that's the kind of turn I wanted oh my gosh so they're the destroyers gonna be on top of me if I wait any longer Okay, so, when are they going to turn back, though, is the question. So they started like this. Um, it doesn't really matter. At nine knots, we know that they're not moving very quickly. So let's just set up a huge barrage and try to hit with as many as we can. It recommends 349. See, it even recommends something which is, I mean, probably going to hit no matter what we do. So let's take into account the situation that we're probably going to have to sink the destroyer. Not on this turn, but on the next turn. So that means that we're trying to plan for one turn of torpedo travel before the Courageous knows what's going on. And I think 5,000, I think 5,500 5, yards is only one extra turn of waiting before the torpedoes hit. So we'll do, th we'll do 349 just to assure a hit there. But then let's do maybe one degree spacings. Um, 8 degree spacings, maybe. Eh, something like this. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do something like this. 
Torpedoes away. I like it when they line up like that. I don't like when they all crisscross. So that's nice. It's a good sign if there is one, right? <laughs> now, <laughs> we're so close that we might actually be... Uh, let's go all, all reverse. And we actually want to turn back probably 15 degrees this way. <laughs> we didn't move at all, basically. And that's fine. We're going to wait one more turn <laughs> just to see what they do. And they turned uh, in the wrong direction. Hopefully this doesn't hit. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Oh, God. Okay, well, uh, that's not ideal. Now we probably dive just so we don't get bombed, so they don't know exactly where we are. And go flank. Let's go flank five degrees to the right. We need to wait for torpedoes to reload anyway. In fact, we could spin around and use our rear tubes. That's... I probably should have done that. And then this is the important one. We need to sink this ship immediately. So let's go two-thirds just to get enough... Oh, no, 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 no. One-third, 30 degrees. We need to launch enough torpedoes to sink this guy. Perfect. Okay, now, uh, these will hint hit instantly, so we don't have to worry about his movement. We just want to line up a few a few shots. So maybe one right here. Technically, this angle is so oblique that the torpedoes in real life might not have hit. We do want to make sure it sinks, though, so let's get three. Torpedoes away. And that should put her in... Uh, whoa! Okay, there. Valentine is seeking. Very good. Now, what is she gonna do? Oh, they're dive bombing. Okay, so I don't know who they're dive bombing. It's probably gonna be a sunk submarine, though. Oh, it looks like they're going after my initial... Can't see. Uh, they might have hit. That's really close, huh? Okay, we'll have to see how much damage that did. And one missed, but that's okay. So I'm actually really glad that we dove with this one. Did she take any damage? No, she didn't take any damage. We do have to be careful because, I mean, they might still know where we are. Maybe we should just straight up disengage with this one. But I'm going to be a little bold because this is a aircraft carrier we're talking about here. We can get lucky. Let's do a hard turn and try to get those rear tubes active. Actually, no, this one is going to just continue on its way. We'll get the other submarine to first launch its last torpedo, and then let's dive a little bit more just to be safe, though. Hmm. Oh, this is really tough. I guess let's just go ahead and hope that we aren't detected. So let's go down to deep and move forward. So don't do anything. Now, this is the one who we want to get lucky. So let's move five degrees. Oh, wait, wait, that's the wrong one. We need to move like 30 degrees in flank speed. Go ahead and do that movement. And we do nothing this turn or do we launch? We hit the front of their ship, so they didn't really have any kind of propulsion damage, unfortunately. They do have 48 aircraft, oh my gosh. But they haven't manned them on top of the deck, so that... W you would think that their deck or aircraft would have been injured, but I don't see that. Why is that? Hopefully it's just that they don't know where we are. Okay, well, let's um, not fire a torpedo yet. Did they bomb us again? They don't. Okay, very good. So that means we should begin to surface again. Five degrees, begin the sur- wait, are there- I forgot- I should have looked at the direction they're moving. <laughs> one torpedo reloaded, we need one more turn to get to the surface though. 
And technically we actually could get to the surface and use our deck guns. Uh, they would use their bombers, so that would be stupid, but none of their ships actually have um, shells. I don't know if that's accurate. I thought these guys at least had some weaponry, but maybe I'm... Uh, actually, the British ones? Maybe not. Okay, done. And uh, I think since this one looks like it's turning... I mean, let's just consult our map. It looks like it's turning towards port, towards west. So let's just keep going in the exact direction we're going and figure out what, what it's doing before we uh, decide what we're going to do. Nope, she's turning back. Okay, that's fine. She'll expose her broadside to us, which makes her an easier target to hit. Okay, surface one more time. Flank speed. And then we'll be able to mop up all the merchant ships. So this is going to be a very good episode. We did our due diligence by sinking the destroyer first. And then uh, the aircraft carrier isn't as big of a threat. Which is weird to say, <laughs> that the aircraft carrier is less of a threat. But it's the truth. Okay, so we have two torpedoes. Let's wait a little bit longer, just to get a very accurate shot off on the Courageous. We want to sink her, so... Yeah, she's turning back, so we, if we had guessed, we would have guessed that she would have kept turning to the right, and it's not true. Okay, this person, this submarine moves probably five degrees and keeps going. How many torpedoes do you have? Whoops, I hit the wrong button. Okay. Uh, I don't know what you should do. I guess you just move right at her. Let's go down to full. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> I don't want to launch torpedoes until I have a better angle, so let's just hit none. There we go. That's a good angle. Okay, so you are still going to move flank speed. And you have a lot of torpedoes, I think, available. Oh, well, by a lot, you know, two. <laughs> she is going 23 knots. I would prefer to hit her from this side, though, because... This is the side she already took damage from, and because of the way they modeled the physics, as I think I've mentioned at least once before, they have the water, the ships start taking on water, or start listing to one side, and it sinks faster if you keep targeting the same side, which you know, causes it to list more. I don't know how they do exactly the physics, it's not perfect physics, but it's something more physical than just taking damage, like hit point system. So, um, they say 5.3, so we need to lead this ship by quite a bit. Wow, quite a bit. In fact, that's so much that I'm not even going to bother firing this turn. Now, this ship is probably going to hit instantly, so we'll move flank speed ahead. She's probably going to turn into us. We have two torpedoes available, so let's actually get one right at the tip, and then one slightly behind. So at least we're targeting the front of the ship more. And I think even if they move one that, I mean, I don't know if these might hit directly. Yeah, I guess they will hit directly then. That didn't sink her? Okay, wow. Color me, um, impressed. She should at least be moving slower. Now, bar barely. <laughs> okay, goodness. It's a real trooper we got here. All right, well, it's probably time to fire, so let's see. Her course is just generally right towards the U-65. I probably am gonna fire, end up firing these torpedoes basically right at my fellow ship. Am I? Is this? Yeah. <laughs> basically. Okay. I'm gonna wait one more turn. I want to see what she's doing. And let's get this guy to go flank and whip around so that we can try to get off some rear torpedoes. Hopefully without running into the wreckage of the destroyer, which still has not sunk. And we actually reloaded one torpedo. Oh, we can actually fire it. Okay, good, yeah, we'll fire it at exactly that angle, sure. Uh, wait, I mean fire exactly at this angle. I 
want you to fire at this. Is this not a bearing? Oh, yeah, of course I need to fire. <laughs> Boom! Another hit. But this miracle of a ship is staying afloat. I, we've put seven torpedoes into her. I'm not mistaken, right? I think we've put seven torpedoes into her. No, one of the first four miss, so only six. I mean, only six, right? As if that's something you would say only two. Okay, well, she's not getting any... closer. So basically we fire right at our sub. <laughs> It's just really hard to do. I'm, I'm afraid of friendly fire, so I'm going to withhold. She is slowing down, but not enough that I'm confident. So, hopefully, let's just, let's dive just to make sure we don't get hit. Okay, and we're like going right under the destroyer, which is... A terrible idea. Their wreckage might actually hit our ship and do incredible damage to it. So we'll move, I mean, hopefully in a different direction. I don't think it's modeled, though. So. We want to do none. Okay. They did move back, so that might be helpful for this guy. Another two torpedo reloaded. Is it time to just start spraying? I don't think so, not quite yet. So let's keep going hard to starboard to avoid the wreckage. And we'll keep going straight so that we can try to line a shot. That's good. Okay, she is turning nicely towards us. Still moving pretty quick, though. Hmm. Well, let's just launch some torpedoes. I'm not going to get a kill unless we do something. So they recommend 0.8. Let's take their 0.8 and hedge it a little bit. Let's do 1.2. Let's do 1.4, even. 1 point, or 0 0.6, and then uh, something like this. Like so. One of those hopefully hits. Yeah, that doesn't look... that looks pretty good. Oh my god, did I send my torpedoes right at... I think I sent them right at the U-65, so... Anyways, this one's gonna start to surface again. We move flank speed. <laughs> Just in the exact direction we're going. Probably too close to actually launch a torpedo right now, but... Yeah, she's within a thousand yards, and I think that that's the limit. So we'll just say done. Oh, these torpedoes are looking good. Stop, 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 stop. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so keep moving. Uh, it's not really important anymore. And, um... Yeah, you're not in the way. That's excellent. So keep going, flank speed. We probably need one more turn before we launch. Actually, this will give us a good indication of how close we can be. Can we be at exactly... So aim towards the front, since that's where it's listing most. Can we be exactly at 1,000 and still hit? Nope. So it has to be a little bit more. And here comes the torpedoes. Only one hit. Huh. That is number seven for us. <laughs> seven torpedoes at him. Got another one back. Could have launched yet another, but we'll wait another turn. I'm glad we didn't send all our torpedoes at him. So let's uh, keep moving. And let's wait another turn, because we don't want to have that same thing happen again. I should have actually done it just to test how close we can be. But maybe it's 1500. Alright, so 
It's taken a long time just to finish off a, a fight that really there's no question how what the result is going to be. So 345 is, or sorry, 352 is what they say. We're going to do something like uh, 351 because I think that that's actually what it'll hit. Right, and you continue to move flank speed away. And let's fire another one just to test out if 1400 is far enough away. Yep, 1400 is far enough away. Probably should. Oh, there she goes, finally. Okay. And our one torpedo misses because they're sinking anyway. Great, now we go to the map and see merchants of withdraw. So very good, we actually did get some light damage on the U-64 from that bombing run. But I, I mean, it wasn't visible, so. So we'll just send these guys right back to port. They've done a, a great job. <laughs> and immediately into repairs. Ah, two more turns and they'll be back out. That's, that's totally okay. All right, anything else we want to move around? I think everyone else is okay. So next turn. Actually, we've gone 26 minutes, so let me hit next turn. Great, and this will be a great place for us to call this episode to a close. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.